The very first behaviour that you'll teach your horse using connection training is just to stand with you quietly. So this is to just be with you, to be relaxed, to be polite, to not be pushing on you, but equally not to be leaving you either. So just this kind of soft, calm, relaxed connection at halt. Now, for some horses, this might take a while to get to, that they uh, they just want to be with you, they're not getting distracted, they're not anxious, they're not pushy. Um, but it's the first thing that we're going to be looking at the first behaviour that we're going to be looking at teaching um, and it's something that you will come back to continually throughout. So you can see this first lesson here with Lady who is a rescue from Hope Pastures Rescue Centre who I trained through all of the exercises in our foundation course. So teaching the standing quietly together builds directly on the casual connection time and the introduction of the marker and the food with relaxation that I've done already done with her prior to this. Now Lady was an interesting uh, horse as I was teaching this because she showed quite a wide range of responses. At times she got distracted, she zoned out and she left me and at other times she got really focused on the food and quite pushy. She also struggled to really figure out that it was her um, her actions that caused me to mark and reward. Because she's an older mare who hasn't had much training and, and that kind of learning in her life then it took a little while for her to get that. So she's really great because she shows quite a different range of responses and the different way that your horse reacts means that you're going to have to adapt the, the training slightly. So if you've got a horse who zones out and gets distracted, you're going to be rewarding much more for them tuning in and paying attention compared to if you have a horse who's really just overly focused on the food, already excited, really connected to you, in which case you're probably going to be rewarding more where they, they move away, where they just slow down, keep themselves to themselves and everything settles and relaxes a little bit more. So it's really important that um, I begin in small steps here. What I'm aiming for is that Lady can stand quietly next to me. I'm not looking for a specific head position. Um, I'm just looking for her to keep her head in a relaxed, natural posture, but that she's mentally kind of connected to me, with me, that we feel like we're together, but she's not pushing on the treats or, or getting distracted. This is also the first instance where Lady really had to consciously figure out it was something that she did that earned the marker and the rewards. So this was the first step of problem problem solving. And I really want horses to become really resilient, confident, relaxed problem solvers. So it's important that at the beginning I was rewarding little small tries but keeping the energy really low and we had that feeling of figuring it out together so that she has that confidence as we move on to train all of the other um, behaviours as we progress. Can you come this way? Nice! And feeding her well away from my body where I want her to keep her head. Super! All right. See a little bit there? Yeah, <laughs> your lips go in. Super, really good. Can we turn around so the camera can see? Good job. Oh. Yeah, really nice. I'm going to stay on this side and see if we can get some success on one side before we... Uh... So you see what I mean? She's just not that, like, she's kind of like, oh, you've got food, but not really tuned on to the... Yes, good girl. To understanding that she can get it, that it's coming from me, a little bit oblivious. Nice. Good job. Yes, and it's a difficult balance sometimes when you're looking for things to here, yeah, when you're looking for things to reinforce. Whether you, um, you know, if your horse is just looking away, they might not be mugging, but also you don't really feel like you've got their attention either. And with her, I often feel like if I've got her attention, she's all just like food, 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 food. And if she's not pushing on the food, I've got no focus from her at all and no attention. So I'm just trying to find those moments in between where I feel like she's kind of with me, but she's not pushing. And you can see there she's just like, oh, nope, too hard. <laughs> I've wandered off on my own. Do need your focus. <laughs> yes, good girl. Really nice. I'm just trying to look for moments, yay, where I feel like she's focused and with me, but she's not pushing. What else have you got? Yes, very clever. Very clever. We've got a nut in there because you know. So I've mixed the chaff and the nuts. So she's got so the nuts which she loves and the chaff which is yes, good, which she's not so keen on. That was brilliant. Really nice. Good girl. Fantastic. 
Yes, good. Oh, maybe I should have clicked that. There we go. Super. Super. Something else to be aware of as you're doing this, and in fact, this comes into every single behavior or exercise that you work on with your horse, is if you find that you mark and then your horse whizzes their head around really quickly for the treat, you can still ask them just to wait, keep their head to themselves, nice and soft and politely for you to bring the treat to them. So you can see in this little clip with Lady that she turns her head away and I click, but immediately as soon as I click, she whizzes her head back around. And all I do is just wait again, nice and soft until she keeps her head over there. And then I take the food over to her and feed her out with her head straight in front. So she starts to expect that that's the position she's going to get fed in. And this will teach your horse to wait politely for the treats um, after you mark or when they know that the food is coming. So it's a really great thing to bear in mind right from the start, but also throughout all of the training, no matter what you're working on. So she just needs a lot more practice with me be working on her right side. Remembered. And it's really important, you know, she's got a little bit more switched on, she's got a little bit more kind of pushy around the food. So it's really important that I um, wait for her always to keep her head straight before I reward her so that that becomes like a really strongly ingrained habit. Like there I clicked and I want her just to keep her head to herself before I feed. So everything is just keep your head there. And in this next clip you can see Lady nice and solid keeping her head away. Um, and one of the other things I do here, which again is really another valuable exercise to be aware of um, when you're training this, is that I don't just stand in one position. So I can move my hands around, I can turn to face them a little bit, keep my energy really low because we're just standing still. So um, if, if you pick your energy up and start to get quite exciting, then it's going to, the horse is more likely to move or to get interested. So keep the energy really low, but you can start to move around a bit. One of the things I do in this clip is start to put my hands in the, the treat bag and just rummage around a bit and still then reward her for keeping her head to herself. This is really nice that, again, it doesn't just as soon as you, you put your hands, you move your hands or put your hands towards your food bag that they your horse immediately whizzes their head round. So you're just doing a little bit of desensitization here um, to teach them that just staying calmly, politely in their space and the food will come to them. But it's good, she just felt like I needed to re-establish it on this side. Good. Up. And she knows. And definitely with her really, really short sessions. Good, so I'm going to leave it a little bit longer and just see if she can come back and then offer me consciously holding her head straight. What do you do? What do you do? Good effort. Yep. And it's good to practice, you know, kind of rummage around in my treat bag. Yeah, and she still stands with her head straight. That was brilliant, Lady Pie. So as you can see, standing quietly together is such an important basic behaviour for all horses to learn. How you train it does vary from horse to horse as you need to adapt the training to tailor, tailor it to the individual horse that you're working with. So in the foundation home study course on our the Connection Training Club, you can see me training it to a wide variety of different horses, including ones who are aggressive or very frightened and unhandleable, as well as the kind of, you know, normal horse who uh, is used to being handled and things. And you can find out how to um, train it in the way that's going to be most successful for you and your horse. Standing quietly together also goes hand in hand with the next foundation behaviour that I teach, which is walk together. And in fact, I don't teach the stand quietly together until it's perfect and then move on to walk together. They actually um, are trained very much together in the sessions. I find that if you do too much standing still, you kind of lose that flow, you lose the connection and it's not the best for the relaxation either. So they do kind of work um, and flow together. I will be covering uh, walk together in the next little video in this series on how to get started with connection training with your horse. But if you want to see some sessions uh, in real time of how fast I progress, how much I do with the casual connection time, with the training of the horses, how, when I, how and when I add in new behaviours, how often I switch between them, how I split the full session into mini sessions with the horses, all of those case studies are in full completely unabridged all the way through, even the messy bits, for you to see in the Foundation 
um, home study course in our, in the Connection Training Club. The Connection Training Club also has loads of other great things going on. So you've got the, the forum and the Q&As and the fantastic members, really supportive people from around the world. So Rachel and I would love to see you there. But the next behaviour, the next video I'll do in this mini series will be on the next behaviour, which is walk together. So you can uh, stay tuned for that as well.